Hello, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to make three easy and delicious vegan Buddha bowls. Now, I love Buddha bowls. Some people call them nourish bowls. Some people call them whole bowls. Whatever you wanna call them, essentially it is putting nutritious food in a bowl and it's the easiest thing to throw together. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I like these kind of bowl meals. And one of them is because they can really help you utilize leftovers when you have a little bit of something here and a little bit of something there. And you could either just eat it and be still hungry or you could throw it way this is kind of that in between for you so you can have a way to utilize your leftovers Buddha bowls are also really great when you just kind of want to prep a bunch of things ahead of time and you're not really sure how to put them together putting them together in a bowl situation is a really easy way to do that and makes for pretty easy meal prep in general and I love to eat bowls because you can kind of accommodate them to whatever your goals are so if you want to do high protein you can absolutely achieve that in a bowl if you wanted to do a bowl that focuses more on weight loss totally doable if you wanted to just make sure you're getting in a ton of veggies and greens also very doable with a bowl now my big thing when it comes to bowls or really when it comes to eating healthy in general is sauces because I really feel like if you don't have a sauce that you enjoy um, you're not gonna like what you're eating you know I always tell my clients hey if you're gonna have something healthy and having it with some hot sauce or a sauce that you enjoy a little bit of it have it because if that means the difference between not having it or not eating the healthy thing and eating it have a little bit of the sauce on the side pour a little bit of something over the top of it so sauces are key when it comes to eating whole food plant-based when it comes to eating more vegetables all the things sauces are absolutely key and having a sauce that you enjoy it really helps you succeed um, whatever your health goals are so I'm gonna give you three recipes for making the bowls here but I'm gonna go completely in depth in the full step-by-step -step recipe which will be linked down below so make sure you check that out so if you enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're not already hit that little notification bell because I put new videos out every single week so let's get into these three easy and delicious vegan Buddha bowls. The first thing I'm gonna do is make this coconut peanut butter sauce. It's basically like a peanut sauce, but a little bit differently than what I've shared with you before. I'm using peanut butter, hot water, coconut milk, soy sauce or tamari, rice vinegar, maple syrup, garlic, fresh ginger root, and a little bit of sriracha to taste. You can just whisk this together. And now to assemble the bowl, I'm using spring mix, some whole wheat or rice ramen noodles or udon noodles or whatever kind of noodles that you like, some shelled edamame, carrot, red cabbage, jalapeno, jungle peanuts, cilantro, and then topping it with the sauce. For the Fiesta Bowl, I am making a mango salsa, which you guys have seen me make before. It's also in my cookbook, Eating Whole. I'm using mango, corn, I'm using green onion here, but you could use red onion, cilantro, some tomato, garlic, jalapeno, fresh lime juice, and salt. This is a salsa in my house that is really on repeat. I love this salsa. It really rounds out any kind of salad or bowl or meal. So to make this bowl, I'm using romaine lettuce, some brown rice, I'm using a little bit of pinto beans, and then I made these Southwest potatoes that really turned out nicely. And I'll leave the full recipe for the Southwest potatoes in the written recipe version. Adding a little bit of peas and red cabbage and avocado, topping it with the salsa. Now I've given you three recipes here for a really nourishing Buddha bowl, but here is a really easy blueprint to follow if you want to kind of create your own bowl and customize it to what you enjoy. You're gonna start with one to two cups of raw or steamed greens. So lettuces, uh, kale, spring mix, romaine, something of that sort. You're gonna use some whole grains, anywhere between a half a cup to a cup of whole grains, things like barley or quinoa, brown rice. Then you're gonna use a cup or two cups of steamed 
veggies, cauliflower, broccoli, green peas, carrots, maybe even throw in some sweet potato or regular potato. You can put in a half a cup to a cup of beans of your choice. So many beans, I don't even need to list them. Think of a bean that you enjoy. And then of course, sauces. And in my cookbook eating hole, I have a ton of either low fat, oil free, and really just nourishing whole ingredient sauces, dips, and dressings. So make sure you check that out as well if you need some more inspiration. Or you can even make it as simple as putting fresh herbs and spices, maybe some lemon or lime juice, some soy sauce or tamari. Make it as complex or as easy as you want. So those are my tips for creating your own blueprint of a bowl. Let's get into the next bowl. For this hearty bowl, again, I'm starting out with the sauce because the sauce is super important. This is a lime tahini dressing from my cookbook eating hole. I'm using lime juice, a little bit of tahini, maple syrup, garlic, salt and pepper to taste, and a little bit of water to thin. So for this bowl, I really wanted to make it feel kind of more hearty. I'm using red leaf lettuce, some steamed sweet potato, a little bit of quinoa that was made with vegetable broth, steamed broccoli, and these amazing nacho roasted chickpeas, as well as some fresh kale, and of course I'm topping it with the sauce. The full recipe for the nacho roasted chickpeas will be in the written version of the recipe, so make sure you take a look at that. Now, right after filming this, Chris and I dug into these bowls and they were absolutely amazing. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy the textures and the flavors and the full recipes will be down in the description below. And if you have something on hand that's not quite what I call for, but you know that you need to use up, I don't know, a bell pepper or you have some leftover, some other kind of bean or potato, use those. These can really be customizable to what you have on hand to help you utilize your leftovers and just get creative with them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And remember that at my website, I have a ton of resources for you guys over there as well to either help transition to a whole food plant-based diet, lose some weight, or just get some general guidance with whatever kind of health issue that you're dealing with. So make sure you head over to my website, veganmichelle.com for more recipes, free resources, and then all of the coaching and cookbooks that I offer as well. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which bowl kind of piqued your interest down in the comments below, or if you have a specific bowl recipe that you like to throw together, share it with us because we all eat three times a day or more and we all want to have things that are healthy and are in line with our goals but still actually taste good. I know that's for me and I know that's for so many of you guys out there. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.